So I don't know how well the sound is going to work here. The first thing you have to do is zero the head. Um, I found out that the carbide bit conducts electricity just fine, so what I do is I put this metal plate here underneath the bit, and I put this clip on the bit, and I slowly lower the bit down onto it until it makes contact and then I have an exact XYZ of the top of the piece I'm working on. So let's go ahead and do that. First you have to load the little short G code program to do that. And then you always have to zero the machine. What I found is this boards are never flat. It's springing up. And it springs up a little bit here, so what I do is I actually cut significantly thicker than the board. So I start at the very top and it cuts through it. I want to run, move this down a little bit so it's closer and it doesn't take as long. And then I'm going to slowly run the, run the bit into the proper plate. I'm going to go sit in the air conditioning while the robot cuts the parts out.
So I set these forms up temporarily to see how they line up. I'll screw them on later. And I notice that this right here is poking up higher than this. And then there's actually supposed to be what's called an inner stem and an outer stem here. It's supposed to be an inch thick, and that's about an inch. It's a little bit over an inch wide. And, uh, but basically what it means is I have to trim this here. I actually went past the line down here a little bit. That's really not going to hurt anything. Um, the other boards will support the stem as it spans over that, and that'll keep that out of the way. See where I didn't quite get it. Down all the way there. My favorite tool. <laughs> and that's what happens if you touch it. <laughs> 